Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper and this is the Befaco Lich. So, first of all, I do have to thank Befaco for making this unit available to me. I've had such a blast the last couple of days, really getting to spend a good amount of time with this module, but still, I think that I've only scratched the surface or only seen the tip of the iceberg yet because this thing is so damn versatile. You can do absolutely anything. If you need another VCA, you got it. The Lich can do that. Do you need additional ADSR? Do you need a full synth voice in addition to your rack? The Lich can be all of that and more. So I truly think that this is one of the most versatile and multifunctional modules out there. And well, there is so much to do there. And it, it has the, well, the regular Befaco look and feel to it, including red PCBs, of course, and it's, you don't even know what kind of power you have in your hand until you start playing around with it. So I hope to catch that essence in this video. So I hope you uh, guys will be along for the ride. It's gonna be a bit longer video than regular videos of mine. But uh, that being said, here we go. So this is the Lich a collaboration between Befaco and Rebel Technology. And it is, as mentioned, a programmable module. And what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna run you through the module itself. I'm gonna run you through um, the patches. It comes with out of the box and a patch is a piece of programmable functionality that you can uh, load and write and um, that you can then share online as well. And I'm gonna show you all of that, how you can do that. And I'm also gonna show you how you can create your own patches. So we're gonna do some actual programming as well. Uh, but don't worry, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. No problems there whatsoever. Um, so let's have a quick look, right? So here we have two USB connections. So the regular USB A, that is um, where the Lich will behave as a USB host. So you can connect all of your MIDI compliant, um, well, keyboards or other instruments uh, to here. The other one is where the Lich will behave as a USB device itself. Um, so I've got that connected directly to my computer so I can load additional patches and I can do some management on this, but more on that later. Uh, here we have a screen that's going to be indicating in which of the patches we currently are. And you can also use the knob right next to it to navigate through that and then press it to select it. Uh, this will also tell you when you have run into an error or if it's loading. Um, so that's going to be your first point of information there. And then you've got one, two, three, four pods marked A, B, C and D. And those are the ones that you can use as inputs for your patches. You also have two buttons there, nice and clickable with LEDs behind that. So that is gate one and gate two. And those of course correlate to the gate one and gate two here. So if you send a, a trigger or a, um, a pulse through gate one or gate two here, you will see the lights turn on as well. Um, then, of course, you've got your attenuators for each one of those four and the CV inputs there as well. Then you've got two audio inputs or actual inputs because you can also use these for CV in certain cases. You've got a gate out, CV out one and two and two audio outputs, one for left, one for right. Well, that's the, the module itself. The one thing I truly like, and I'll show you that later on is that the PCBs are red as well. So it's got a great aesthetic and I love that. I love that um, that eye for detail that Befaco has. So what does this come with out of the box? So out of the box, you'll have four patches preloaded. Um, one is a, uh, a reverb, you'll have a delay, you'll have an oscillator and you've got a MIDI interface patch. And for those of you who've seen uh, some of my more, more recent videos, you'll, you've, you might have noticed that I'm using the Befaco Lich as my MIDI interface. So every time I was playing a MIDI file, I was playing that on Ableton on my PC, 
and connecting that to the lich and actually having the lich then routed through through the output to that but more on that later so the first one is as said a nice delay that we can use so i'm going to grab some cables and we're just going to connect that to it so let's grab a lfo that's moving up and down connect that to an oscillator grab the output from there and chuck that into the inputs and the other thing i'm going to grab is of course my audio interface jack and connect that to this there you go so that's the sound we're going to be working with i'm just going to slow down the lfo a bit so and then you have it on one that's this so-called silky reverb and you can just play around with the settings there so room size time brightness and dry and wet and then of course you've got these uh, cv inputs there as well so what we could do is grab uh, from the same LFO grab a different form and connect that to the wet. So nice and dynamic, right? So then off to the second one so this is a ping pong delay so it's going to go from left to right unfortunately i only have a two channel audio interface so you won't be able to hear that uh, but i think the um, the concept is known to people a nice delay effect and this is of course all to show what is actually possible with this uh, with this module so then we've got the, uh, the third, which is an oscillator. So let me just disconnect this. So again, you've got the tone. You have, you have some detune there if you want. The actual mid, and you can tilt it as well. So if you then grab the LFO. So if you're ever in a need for an extra oscillator and you've got a lich, you will never be found empty-handed. You will always have that which you need. Um, whether you need a, another envelope generator, if you need a VCA, you can either find it online or you can build it yourself. If you want to build the most perfect, compelling drone, a complete synth voice, you can do that on the lich. And as said, you also have number four, MIDI modular, which actually acts as a CV to MIDI and MIDI to CV bridge. So I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to grab the output. I'm going to guide that to my oscillator and connect that. So let's connect a MIDI keyboard. There we go. I can just play whatever I want. You don't have any envelopes, of course, so it's not really usable in this form. But at least we can do that. And we can also, of course, uh, connect this from, uh, let's say, Ableton or anything else. So you can truly just use it however you want. And um, I'm going to put a link up there, probably up there, where you can find a, an example of how I use this as a MIDI player for, uh, from Ableton. So without further ado, these are the four patches that we have. But if you then go to rebeltech.org slash patch library, 
uh, you can find all of these other patches for both the owl uh, platform which is of course also compatible with the lich uh, where you can find all of these that you want to uh, that you want to have so let's say you want to find um, well we might want to say the uh, the wind drone you can then from here see what it does how you should use it and you can then also say well I want it to connect and I want to load this so we can play around with it so let's connect the audio interface straight there and we can just play with that there we go nice wind sound So that's how easy it is to load something and you can then of course also store it in a in a slot that you might have so you might want to say i want to store this in slot number eight there we go and now it's stored in number eight so if you ever disconnect it or turn it off and turn it on again if you go to number eight you'll have your wind drone ready there as well uh, what you can also do from here is go to your device and refresh that and that's going to give you an overview of all of the patches that you've got loaded so i currently have the four original ones that come with the uh, with the device i've got a poly sequencer i've got a random patch as well and i've got my very own dual vca patch uh, which i'm going to rebuild with you guys on the video uh, live there as well so as seen it's pretty straightforward to load them you can actually refresh it you can also say i want to erase storage and reset your device um, keep in mind that if you do erase your storage you're also going to lose the four original ones that are on there but then again yeah the only thing you have to do is go back to rebeltech.org slash patch library and you can just reload them and download them again what i want to do now is actually show you how to create a patch of your own and I'm going to be using a very straightforward example. I'm going to be creating a dual VCA uh, patch for the Bifaco Rebel Lich. And I'm going to be doing that in pure data, which is one of seven or eight different programming languages that you can use to create these patches. And I've decided to use this because of its, well, visual um, matter. And it's quite easy to follow along even if you don't have a programming background so what we're looking at right now is the lich template so we already have all of the well the building blocks right there that we can use uh, so we've got your uh, your adc your analog to digital converter you've got your dac your digital to uh, analog converter you've got your pods you've got your buttons you've got your cv out gate out button a led button b led but the only thing that we're going to be using is the pods port a and port b so i'm going to remove the rest just for visibility but i need to first put it in edit mode there we go remove all of these and remove these because we only have the output that we're going to need so let's grab this one put it a bit closer there Put that one there and that one there so just do some cleanup there we go so we now get audio in on two channels on the adc left and right and we need to of course attenuate those based on the inputs from port a and port b which have values between one and zero depending on where the knobs are so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to create a new object i'm going to put that there and what i'm going to say that object is going to multiply the value coming in from the left hand side with the value that's coming in from the right hand side and it's going to be an audio um, uh, variable so that's why i put the tilde there and you can now see that i can connect a value coming from the left hand side so i'm going to be grabbing the left channel input 
and I'm going to grab the value coming from the port to the right hand side and then the output of this operation I'm going to connect that to the DAC. So audio comes in, it gets to this point, then the volume gets multiplied by the value of port A and then routed to the DAC where it's converted to output again. So if the port is at zero, multiply by zero, nothing's going to go to the DAC. If it's uh, at full, it's going to be one. It's just going to pass through it. So I might need to call this a dual attenuator, not really a, a, a dual VCA, but yeah, who's counting? And we're going to do the same thing for the right hand channel. So I'm going to do a multiplication and I'm going to put a tilde there as well. Left hand side to the there we go, there we go, and there we go. So we now have our first, well, VCA or first patch created. Let's save this and save this as dual VCA 2. Save that because I've already created another one that's already stored there. So we're going to go back to the uh, Rebel Technology website and we're going to go to My Patches. So as you can see, I already have two patches there, but we're just going to create a new one there as well. And we're just going to say Demo Jesper. And we're going to choose the patch that we just created. say that it's a pure data one see if everything is correct yes and then we can just do save and compile so as you can see we're now compiling that it's going to take a few seconds and then we're going to get a bit of feedback but you can already see the actual patch that we created and it's going to tell us build successful so that's of course the thing that we were looking for so what we can now do is we can of course test it here from the browser I'm not going to bother you with that but we can connect to our lich and we can then load that so it's now loaded so if I then go back to my lich and I'm going to tell that to say well let's grab the, um, the LFO let's uh, connect the LFO to the A inputs. Let's grab some nice audio from this, put that to in, and let's grab the jack and connect it to that one. And there we go. I can go all the way down. Let's disconnect the LFO for now. So we have one channel and two channels that we can call VCAs. There we go. Grab the that one again. Turn it all the way up. That's nice, isn't it? So that's how easy it is to to program the Lich. This is of course the probably like the Hello World uh, example of how to build your own VCA. But still, it's, it, it's, it's damn near impressive how easy it is. And that's, of course, the whole reasoning behind the uh, Bafako Lich and the whole OWL framework, of course, that we use this with, that we can start building a community of people building ginormous patches of things that we all will benefit from. So that being said, I um, hope everyone is truly engaged and, and will embrace this platform and start building the most beautiful things um, that you can think of with a lich. So as most of you know, I'm pretty new to to the modular society. I'm pretty new to um, to my rack as well. So I'm missing a lot of the function functional uh, modules that uh, you might need. So I don't have a dedicated VCA yet. I don't have a dedicated uh, ADSR or envelope generator yet. But the Lich is, of course, such a powerful device that I can use that to make up for the modules I don't have yet. And if I can't find it online, I can actually build it myself if need be. So 
this is such a multifunctional device I think that this is the most powerful module that is out there and in the hands of a skilled configurator I'm not even dare to call the programmer yet you can do so many badass things with this so this is great so this is what we've seen is I've run you through the, the, the module I've run you through what it comes with out of the books I've shown you how you can load additional patches to it and I've also shown you how easy it is to build a patch of your own in pure data so I would again I need to truly thank Manu over at Befaco of in, for introducing me to this module and for providing this for the for the sake of this video as well and um, this has been a great journey I truly love this module I truly truly do so let's uh, go back to the studio and uh, close off with some uh, final thoughts oh geez you guys are still there I thought the moment I started talking about programming that most of the audience would have um, scurried away scared but I'm so happy you made it to the end well I hope you found this video uh, enjoyable hope you uh, got a good feeling for what the lich is actually capable of and I would say well if you made it to here like and subscribe and don't forget to comment uh, we're either just about to or we've just hit the 100 subscriber mark so we're up to um, the, our next target which is going to be a thousand subscribers and I'm going to be doing a special uh, well giveaway for that as well uh, but more on that later for now I would say please stay safe stay healthy and I hope to see you next time cheers